Today at International Dyno Authority, we're going to walk through the process of installing the Dynojet Power Commander 6 on this 2010. This is the Harley Trike. They call it the Ultraglide FLHXXX. It's a 103 cubic inch motor. As soon as you do any kind of modification to one of these, you're going to want to do a tune on it. If you modify the pipes, if you modify the intake or the exhaust, get rid of the catalytic converter, whatever it is that you're doing on yours, you're going to want to do a tune on that to take advantage of that, get the fueling correct, and make sure that it runs the best that it can. That's what we're going to do here today. This particular power commander, you simply take the seat off and the computer is clipped in here so you can pull the computer out. And the most important thing, when I was trying to find information on this particular setup, I couldn't find anything that was very detailed. So we're going to do a little bit of detail on this, but it's pretty easy. Uh, I'm going to take the negative post off the battery. The battery is underneath the seat. So pull it, you know, pull your 10 millimeter out, pull the negative post off the battery, take the 12 millimeter. The whole seat comes off with one single screw. So you're good there. And then underneath the seat, you have the computer. We're going to unplug this computer. We're going to plug the power commander in between. So it's going to interrupt the signal. We're going to at that point start tuning by telling the power commander what to tell the computer and that's what this type of tuning is you're interrupting the signal coming in and you're giving that signal back to the computer based on what you tell the computer it needs to see which is tuning so the first thing we'll do is just take this negative post off and go from there like this like that good that way they can't because otherwise it'll keep trying to touch See those two sliding rails? They expose a couple of pins, either two or three pins inside of here that you have to line up perfectly. And then it should just lift up gently like that. Then it's got the two pins here. You have to line those up exactly right. So when we put the other one on, we'll put it in between and we'll hook it back up to here and then tuck it back in place. So they have a mimicked connector. This is the factory connector. This is the one that goes on the um, power commander so you like I said you're going to interrupt you're going to reroute the factory connector to the power commander first and then the power commander is going to come back in so we've just simply taken the computer out clip the power commander to the computer and now we're going to clip the factory harness back into the power commander and then we'll put it all down before we put it in place we'll grip we'll give it ground put the key on and we'll put a cable to it and just test it just make sure that it's actually working way this goes and I know that it'll go either way. Ah, there we go. That's more like it. Okay, that works. I'm gonna push that over top and there's a lock on the top. There we go. Just putting the, the tuning cable into the power commander. What I want to do is do a test before we do anything. Okay, once we have it wired in, then the first thing what we want to do is check to see if we actually have connection. So if we have connection, we should see the power come on. And then Wally can go through and do a series of making sure it connects to the laptop. And then there's a, a whole routine that he's gonna go through with checking um, throttle position and then uh, setting up the program so that he can see where the fueling is. Once he's ready, then we'll start tuning.
installed the power commander and we started looking at the fuel curve. The fuel curve is not correct for the modified pipe that is on it. So in the beginning, we're at 101 foot-pounds of torque and 79 horsepower. Wally has looked at the fuel map. He has worked his way through the fuel map. We found some lean spots and he started to just make the fuel correct, get the throttle spots up. We're not we went from 101.5 foot-pounds. We're now at 115.1 foot-pounds. We were at 79 horsepower, we're now at 92 horsepower. So I think it's probably maxed out as far as the amount of power we're gonna get, but we're gonna let it cool off a little bit, make a couple more runs and just check everything over while he's gonna make sure that everything's good to go and then we'll be sure set on this motorcycle. this up with 116 foot-pounds of torque and 92 horsepower. The fuel curve is extremely smooth. There are no dead spots in the fueling right now. Wally's very happy with what he sees in the laptop. The dyno's showing a nice result of a pickup of 15 to 16 percent all the way through the range. We went from 79 horsepower to 92 and we went from 101 foot-pounds to 116. It's a really nice increase, but the main thing is we got the motorcycle running good so a customer can go out and they can cruise, they have lots of throttle response and have all kinds of fun this summer.